Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today's a very special episode. We're shooting a series for the Power Up Conference 2024 in Washington, D.C., and we're also celebrating Women's Equality Day and a Mission Matters book launch. We got a whole lot going on in D.C., and my guest right now, Anu Bardwaj. Anu, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, so we got a lot to talk about. I know you're a podcaster, have a podcast network. We're going to go into all of that. But first things first, what brings you to the conference? So I have been friends with Gloria Felt for almost a decade. Wow. And we met when I lived in Phoenix, Arizona. Mm-hmm. And she had her first conference. And I had, I had set up Women Investing in Women Digital mm-hmm. back then and heard about her work. And we have stayed in contact over the years I moved, she spent some time in New York, stayed in contact, and we've now come back together (laughs) after 10 years. Oh, that's amazing. What do you think is, why do you think this conference is so special? Like, what do you think is some of the secrets to its success? I think most, first and foremost, it would probably be the intentionality. Mm. And we launched her podcast on Shikonomy, which is called Intentioning This. So Mm -hmm. given that, with that relationship that we had, you know, helping her with audio presence mm-hmm. and also working with her as we were developing our own technology, our own podcast listening apps. Mm-hmm. I think there was that for me, specifically, it was just seeing where we could take this, mm-hmm. like from concept to here we are at the conference yeah. and watching her 10 year history and watching our 10 year history. Like we've just been working in parallel together all this time. Wow. Yeah. What, what do you think makes the community so special like here? There's a lot of overlap. Mm -hmm. So there's many different organizations on Mm -hmm. a shared mission, and your mission matters. Mm -hmm. So this is all about alignment. And there isn't a single woman here that's not aligned with the other. Yeah. We're all working in different shades, I should say. Mm -hmm. But it's all the same, the same rainbow. Yeah. So one of the things that I like to always talk about is I want more people to come. I want more people to join, whether they're corporate sponsors, yep. whether they're attendees, whether they're... What would you say to the people that aren't here today? The people that aren't here today, I would say... Because next year is going to be the 11 year. I know that. Come on, Gloria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say find a way to engage because mm-hmm. it's great work and it's great people at mm-hmm. the end of the day. There are so many generations mm-hmm. tapping into this wisdom that's here. And for me specifically, I've, I've been in various programs mm-hmm. along, the year, along, the, along the way. Mm-hmm. And the last one that I did was 50 Women in Entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. And I met some angel investors and we're still very close and very connected. Mm-hmm haven't actually taken any money from them, but Mm -hmm. it's the building of those relationships over time. Mm -hmm. And we're all growing as as business leaders and as executives and women who care about the next Mm -hmm. generation. So I think there's something here for everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's a great place to get connected. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit more about that. Women in entrepreneurship. And I'll tell you where I'm going with this. A a lot of times entrepreneurs in general, we just kind of go forward. We go forward. We don't know that there may be help, resources, ideas. It doesn't always have to be money. I love that you said you didn't even take the investment, um, even though you could have, but you didn't because you didn't need it. So now you're, you know, building, but I'm sure you took knowledge. You took other things and you also gave. Talk a little bit about women in entrepreneurship. Okay, so this is what I've been doing for almost all my life, yeah. <laughs> it feels like. You're born an entrepreneur, one of those? Like, it's in your DNA. For you, it's in your yeah, DNA? Yeah, it's in Amazing. my DNA. It's definitely, I came out this way, a hustler. I came out a hustler. <laughs> um, poor were your, parents. Were your parents de- uh, entrepreneurs or no? My yeah. father was, yeah. Okay, okay. My mom, I mean, she owns him, so it's like. Oh, it's she, a win. So she, yes. that was her investment. I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we're all entrepreneurs. Um, <laughs> What I will say is uh, I, I came to Washington 20 years ago, mm. and I went to Georgetown, mm-hmm. and I have been an entrepreneur ever since I was, like, I don't know, like, there's been no real job. Mm. Internships, mm-hmm. maybe, but no real job. Mm-hmm. I've always been starting companies from that time period, and one of the things that you learn mm. is that your net worth is your network, mm-hmm. and Part of what I realized at an early early time in my entrepreneurial journey mm-hmm. is that you keep people that are 
looking out for your best interests who are mission aligned, very close to you. Yeah. And, and I have done that not just with Take the Lead, but with other communities mm -hmm. here in Washington. I'm still connected to yeah. them. And it, it's that community that really helps propel you to the next level always. Mm. And you find out about opportunities, you find out about grants, you find out about other investors and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I would say to this point, Shikonomy has been completely built on non-dilutive capital, a million dollars mm. worth of grants mm. and opportunities. So Amazing. it's connections. And so many of these people Gloria is friends with and I'm friends with, and mm -hmm. it's that community. And so it's building on top of each other. And even if the community doesn't know, mm -hmm. they have people outside that are mm. like, oh, you, Anu, call her, like, mm. you know? So you, it just becomes one of these, it's a, it's a currency at the end of the yeah. day. Your reputation becomes your currency. The people you work with mm -hmm. become your currency and vice versa. Like they can lean on me. And so I get calls constantly. Mm -hmm. Hey, Anu, could you get us more people? Hey, Anu, could you help us with our press releases? Yeah. Hey, Anu, like... I've got tech issues. Hey, Anu, like, mm -hmm. I can't figure this out. So it's, we're all resources for one another. Mm. What was one of your first businesses that you remember? The early days. The I'm early curious. days. Yeah. I just want to see if we would have been friends when we were both little kids that, that were entrepreneurs. What's the early, I think <laughs> one of my early ones was like comic books or like, I don't know. I had all kinds of random things. Baseball cards. I don't know what I was selling. I mean, what was the early days, your first business that you remember? Um. So I'll tell you my earliest memories. I went to the school mm -hmm. where we used to collect soup labels. Did you ever do that? Yes, For yes, computers yes, and yes. things like that. Mm -hmm. So I literally would go door to door. Oh, I was like really good at door amazing. to door. And I made friends with everybody. And I was always Stop. selling something, whether it was gift wrap, whether it was candles, whether it was like I love it. <laughs> picking up soup labels. So I was like hardcore sales. Yeah. And I mean, whatever I could do to get a soup label, I'm like, can I sing you a song? <laughs> Can I tell you, like, I'll play, like, you know, I'll make a puzzle with you. I'll play chess with you. Like, whatever, you know. It's like I made a lot of friends in the neighborhood, so I was mm. the soup label girl. <laughs> so. Oh, my gosh. That's an amazing story. I knew you had a great story for yeah. that. I just knew it. Yeah. Uh, so fast forwarding just a little bit from the soup labels, uh, let's yeah. talk about your current <laughs> project and your current business. Tell me more. Okay. This project I'm obsessed with. Mm. It's a podcast listening app that we built during COVID. Mm. And when lockdown happened, there was this intense feeling of what happens to people mm -hmm. on the other side of the world mm. who can't find out about COVID. Yeah. And I was homeschooling my daughter, Aria. And one day, Zoom school stopped working and Google Classroom stopped working. Mm. And she's like, well, what's going to happen? We're not going to make it to fourth grade like this. We're all going to be like fail out of school. Mm. And I said, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about all those other little girls. Yeah. What do you think's happening to them? And she mm. said, I don't know, mama, what's happening? And I said, it's not your problem. Don't worry about it. Mm. She goes, no, no, it is my problem. Tell me. I want to wow. know. And How I old again? Seven and a half. Amazing. So I said, okay, I'll tell you the truth. They're probably getting sold. They're probably getting trafficked. And if mm. they're lucky, they're being married off to mm -hmm. someone much older than your age. And so she had big tears in her eyes and she said, that's mm. not a choice. We have to do something. We have mm -hmm. to help. And that was the genesis of, okay, now we need to get help out to these kids. How yeah. are we going to do this? So we contacted our tech team in India mm -hmm. and said, guys, can you help us? And Arya had launched a crypto for kids wallet mm. at the time. We presented this at the United Nations at Blockchain for Impact. And we figured out a way to take our podcast and mm. hook it up to her digital wallet. Amazing. And then it's listen, learn, and earn. So anyone listening to anything earns tokens, mm. like rewards, mm -hmm. points, and then you can exchange them for gifts. Mm. So this started off on one tangent where we were like, let's figure this out and build it. Mm. And fast forward, we won a lot of grants and competitions. The first mm -hmm. being the Islamic Development Bank COVID Innovation Competition. Mm -hmm. And 5,000 people, 175 countries. There were 30 winners, seven were women, wow. and we won the grand prize. So we got the money from Saudi Arabia, Oman, UAE, yeah. Bangladesh, Indonesia. Our apps were built on Android, iOS, KaiOS, mm. and a new platform called Geo. We're waiting on their phone. It's been four mm -hmm. years, and I'm, I'm sitting quietly because we've been doing this in stealth. We're now in cloud phones, mm -hmm. and we're reaching the bottom billion. And what does that mean? It means mm -hmm. you and I can afford a data plan. You and I yes. can afford a smartphone. You and I have money in the bank to pay for our, our um, cell phone bills, subscri sure. subscriptions, yeah, subscriptions, right? Subscriptions, yeah. All that. And if you're living on less than $5 a day, this mm. is not your priority. You've got to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. 
and hopefully you don't have to sell one of your kids, yeah, right? Yeah. To get the information. And it's not something we talk about, but we should. Mm. Because there's a half, half the world's population is living on less than $5 a day. Mm -hmm. So without knowing, we started building on 2G, 3G, mm. 4G, and these feature phones. Yeah. And then $30 smartphones. Wow. And $40 feature phones. Yes. And now we've got them on laptops, low-cost TVs, low-cost every, wow. everything. And we started in India. Now we're all over Africa. Mm -hmm. We're all over Latin America. Mm. Mexico is one of our biggest populations. Mm -hmm. Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Literally all over the, all over the world right now. Mm. So. What's your vision? What's your big vision for the platform? So the big vision is everyone should have a voice mm. or be heard. Yes. And how do we do that? We get people that can now listen on these low-cost devices. Mm -hmm. And we have 5,000 podcasts in 65 languages. Mm. So Arabic, Swahili, Bahasa, Bengali, yeah. Urdu, Pashto, mm. Spanish, French, Tagalog. Of course, we have English. Yes. Half is English and the rest are all these different languages. Mm -hmm. What we can do now with generative AI is we can take content in Bengali, mm -hmm. convert it into English, mm. and from English it can go to Spanish. Mm. So this woman in Calcutta can now be talking to someone in Lima. Wow. And they've never been able to do that on a device they can afford. Wow. Right? So a $10, $12, $30 phone mm -hmm. is not going to break the bank. Mm -hmm. They don't have to sell their daughter. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then once they start getting access, they can start monetizing content just like you do. Mm -hmm. And that gives them a way out of poverty. Mm. It's not that we didn't know how. We just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. We didn't do it because they can't pay subscriptions. Yeah. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. And they can't afford these phones. Mm. It's not like we didn't have the tech. We did. Mm -hmm. So why didn't we do it? So all these questions are being raised now. Yes. And it's not, oh, five years from now or 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. We already did it. <laughs> it's been done. Yeah. I can see the phones working. Yes. So give it to the kids. Give it to the women. Give it to the girls. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about investing in women, give them a voice mm -hmm. at a bare minimum. What's been the response? Like, what's been the response from all these different communities as you go into them? How has it been received? So I'm on the build side. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm looking at a camera and I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. But otherwise I'm looking at a computer screen. Or I'm doing Zoom calls trying to build this <laughs> yes. technology, right? Yes. I see the numbers. Mm -hmm. And... I'm getting interest, obviously, from the Islamic Bank. Of course. First, most important person is I look at Aria, my daughter, mm -hmm. and she donated her college fund wow. to build this. She wow. was the first angel, like literal angel. And she's like, I want my, my money to go towards helping other girls. So mm -hmm. you look at someone like that and you say, okay, I did well. Mm -hmm. And this is a win because she's learning something mm -hmm. on how to be a better person. Mm -hmm. The second is the Islamic Bank. They're now in 56 countries. Mm. So they took a bet on us. They never expected this to work. Mm -hmm. We went beyond the proposal that we wrote. <laughs> Algorand Foundation, they ran out of money mm -hmm. in the middle. Like We got like 85% of that grant, mm -hmm. luckily, and then crypto markets went crazy. We also won SDG Impact Accelerator. So mm. they, they've been quiet. We haven't told them what's happened. And then most recently, We've partnered with an organization called Women in Cloud. Mm -hmm. And Women in Cloud is getting ready to announce this week. We have a partnership with them where we're going to award 2,500 scholarships for getting more women in AI, mm. valued at $11.11 .11 million. Absolutely amazing. So that is like, you can build the best tech, mm -hmm. you can have the best content curated, but you need women on the other side who are mm -hmm. going to help with this generative AI, the translations, the al algorithms, the data sets. Mm -hmm. So let's go train them. And now we needed a corporate sponsor to underwrite these scholarships, and that was Microsoft. Amazing. I took some of this, but I want to make it clear. How do people get involved, whether it's on the corporate side, whether yep. it's as a content creator, yes. business, your small business owner? How do people get involved from all the different angles? So walk me through that. Absolutely. So Mission Matters podcast, mm -hmm. I'm guessing you you'd like, uh, like more listeners mm -hmm. and you'd want to get it as broad as possible. Mm -hmm. And you're already one of the top podcasts that's out there. Mm -hmm. When this new opportunities and listenership mm -hmm. opens up, you want to be able to reach those people. Mm -hmm. And I have a membership right now where if you pay $1,000, mm -hmm. you become a lifetime member 
And I'm going to get you into KaiOS. I'm going to get you into CloudPhone mm -hmm. and anything else where we're building. Mm -hmm. So this reaches a new audience that's on these low-cost devices mm -hmm. that may not have had access. That's a starting point. If you're a corporate, you may want to participate. And so that's the content creators out there. So that's for all the content, con and that's open to you. You gave us as an example, but what type of other content? Because all the people watching, like, what kind of other content creators are able to get involved? So right now, it's limited to podcasts only, mm -hmm. and you can either do it free. You give me your RSS, mm -hmm. and I put you on a yep. curated curated list. And, and what kind of shows, too? That's what I meant mm, by that. Okay. I don't mean, I know it's podcasts, but I mean, what okay. kind of shows are you okay. looking for to curate? We have health, we have social impact, mm -hmm. we have entrepreneurship, we have leadership, we have tech, meditation. Oh, so it's a lot. It's not one particular niche. No, no, and no. You're probably going to keep building different niches. Am I off? Like hundreds of categories. Wonderful. Okay. Already. That, that's what I wanted to yes. make sure was clear. Go ahead. Yes. So we have hundreds of categories mm -hmm. and we have curated topics like climate mm -hmm. change, women's sports, mm -hmm. women's health, mental health specifically. Yeah. So there's doctors out there that have made content, and many times it's in English. Mm -hmm. But there's 1.2 billion women who still haven't seen a doctor yeah. around the world. Now imagine if I took that English content mm -hmm. and made it, turned it into Spanish. Mm -hmm. Then you have women on the, in Latin America that can access this content that maybe have hormonal issues or maybe have breast cancer issues yeah. or different things like maternal health, right? Mm -hmm. And so... There's different ways to collaborate. Yeah. And it, let's say you don't want to make a podcast, but you found this amazing podcast that's been helping you deal with cancer. Mm. Maybe you can underwrite that, sponsor that podcast for going global or yeah. converting into different languages. Mm. So this is a new model of like people like you and me right. who want to serve, help, amplify others' voices including our own, mm -hmm. and make sure it reaches people that need it. Because they may not have had an education. They've been forced out of school. Yeah. 900 million girls were forced out of school. Mm -hmm. So now how, do they, how are they going to get back in? Mm -hmm. How are they going to learn? So these are things like not everybody learns by reading. Some people le learn by listening yes. or watching. Like you, we've seen that with YouTube now. Of course. So this is one of these opportunities that everyone can support mm -hmm. and be part of the solution. Yeah. And, and that's, so that's the content creators, now the corporate side. Yes. What kind of things are you looking for in corporate partners? Wonderful. So corporates, let's say you have an internal podcast. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you want to bring your community together, internal community, women's groups or whatever. It could be any group. Yep. I'm talking to several right now that are corporates that are like, we have an internal podcast. This doesn't leave mm -hmm. you know, our network and it's firewalled and so on and so forth. Yeah, I get but, it. We have a series around women entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. and can you help us co-create this? Mm -hmm. And it can be for different countries or different regions. Mm -hmm. And once we co-create this, we can spotlight our top female entrepreneurs, and that's a way to help them mm -hmm. build their businesses. Mm -hmm. Or we can even create a network around women business, business owners that have their podcasts, we mm -hmm. can create a channel for them. Yeah. And then these companies can either underwrite that, mm -hmm. support it, be a guest, or even host. Yeah. So there's different ways for them to participate. And then most importantly, the skilling. So let's say we're talking about digital transformation. Mm -hmm. There's a way for women who don't speak English to also share their content. Mm -hmm. And they can say, we'll underwrite a podcast in Bengali or we'll underwrite a podcast in Spanish. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm a huge fan and advocate of podcasts. Podcasters of love course. to support them, bring them on the show all the time. Yes. Um, anu, last thing I want you to do, I want you to look into the camera and tell everybody else how they can get involved. I yes. want to hear websites. How do they do it? Okay, lovely. So for those of you who are tuning in today, please check out podcasthers.com. It's P-O-D-C-A-S-T-H-E-R-S.com. And you can find us there, and it will link to everything that's on the apps for Shikonomy. And you can go on our socials. We're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn. So we will see you there. And if you do come and find us on LinkedIn, you can search under Shikonomy, which is S-H-E-Q-O-N-O-M-I. And our, our community is building, and you can see our ambassadors, you can see our members, you can see the conferences that we're attending, and also special discounts and codes that you might want to use for conferences like Take the Lead. Yeah, 
Amazing. And for everybody watching, just so you know, uh, we'll put the links in the show notes so that you can just click on them and head right on over. And speaking of the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe or follow button. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're bringing you new content, new ideas, and hopefully new inspiration to help you along the way in your journey as well. Anu, again, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, my friend. It's been an honor. I'm, I'm hoping we have more of these in the future. Amazing.